developing now. The Colorado Supreme Court has disqualified Donald Trump from running for president in the state. Yes, this ruling is unprecedented and could lead to a major legal battle. CBS 2's Dick Brennan here in studio now with more on this development. Dick? You know, Christine Maurice almost certainly will. This was a four to three ruling by the Colorado Supreme Court as judges were all appointed by Democratic governors, as Donald Trump was quick to point out. The ruling does not apply outside the state, but it's an explosive decision that will likely be decided by the U.S. Supreme Court. The Colorado Supreme Court ruled that Donald Trump is ineligible for the White House because he did engage in insurrection due to his conduct surrounding the January 6th attacks, writing, We conclude that because President Trump is disqualified from holding the office of president, it would be a wrongful act to list President Trump as a candidate on the presidential primary ballot. We'll see if the United States Supreme Court weighs in, and I, of course, will follow whatever court order or decision is in place by the time that we certify the ballot. The court bases its ruling on the 14th Amendment to the Constitution of the United States, which prevents people who engage in insurrection from holding office after taking an oath to uphold it. What we know is it doesn't mean that someone has to be convicted of sedition or insurrection. The terms engaged in insurrection is used in the 14th Amendment, not convicted, not found by a court. And we're going to take that language as it is in the 14th Amendment. In a statement, the Trump campaign said the Colorado Supreme Court issued a completely flawed decision. We have full confidence that the U.S. Supreme Court will quickly rule in our favor and finally put an end to these un-American lawsuits. This Supreme Court now has just been handed a grenade. Uh, anything they do won't satisfy either side. Tonight, Trump rival Chris Christie indicated he does not support banning Trump from the ballot. I do not believe Donald Trump should be prevented from being president of the United States by any court. I think he should be prevented from being president of the United States by the voters of this country. Now, here's where it gets confusing. The Colorado Supreme Court has put its ruling on hold until January 4th. They need to start printing ballots the next day for the March 4th primary, so it won't keep him off any ballot unless or until the U.S. Supreme Court says so. Lawsuits challenging Trump's candidacy have been filed in more than 25 states, though the Colorado case marks the most immediate threat to his campaign. Christina Maurice, here we go to the court, the high court of the land. Yeah. Long way to go. Yep. Thank you, Dick.